Well, I put it out there. I threw it out there and I asked you guys whether you thought this axe head needed to be shined all the way around or if I could just leave the edges kind of uh, unshined, almost as an accent. I mean, I kind of, I kind of knew what was the what needed to be done before I asked it. But I was truly, I was kind of hoping that you guys would overwhelmingly say, "Oh no, no, leave it the way it is. It looks great." <laughs> but you didn't. You told me exactly what I knew was right in the first place. That this whole thing needs shined up. Keep the continuity. If it's going to be shiny here, it needs to be shiny here and here and here. So. I don't know if this is going to be enough material for a video, but I want you guys to see the whole process. So maybe you guys have figured this out about me, but I'm, I tend to be someone who has a really hard time throwing things away. And a lot of people would probably say that I take it to the extreme. But this is a piece of an old boot. The boot wore out, so why not salvage the leather to use it for something? I don't know what I was going to use it for, but... It works just perfectly for protecting my axe head from the teeth of my vice, right? I swear I wasn't born or raised in the De Great Depression, but I don't know. I just have a hard time getting rid of stuff. All right, now with this thing in the vice nice and secure, I've got some 150 grit sandpaper that uh, that I'll use to hand sand it. I tried to do on the, on the uh, surfaces of this, uh, at one point, I tried to skip the hand sanding to uh, to speed up the process a little bit, and the orbital sander just doesn't do quite as good of a job uh, of knocking off the, the black carbonization. So, the hand sanding it is. Sometimes you gotta get all the way down to the finger level to get into some of these crevices. Now surely I'm not gonna be able to make the depths of these dents and dings shine, but I'd like to get them as cleaned up as possible. going to use the electric sander just because the uh, I don't know the speed and the, the uh, randomness of it does a really good job of shining this up I could uh, I could spend all evening trying to do it by hand and not get it quite as well shined up as the sander so as much as I'd love to be able to say that this was all done sans electricity here it is
right, all right, all right. The whole thing's polished now. Are you happy? I know I am. I'm glad you guys strong arm me into it. It looks a lot better with it all polished. So to those of you who made suggestions, whether or not they were suggestions that I actually went with, I really appreciate your input. That's part of what I think makes this medium, I don't know, I think that makes this whole YouTube thing cooler than TV because you get to have an input on the entertainment that you're watching. I know that I've done the same thing, uh, suggested stuff, and, and know that it's pretty cool when people go with my suggestions. So anyway, that's what it is. This axe head is now done, and uh, I'm in the process of sourcing a handle and that'll be next we'll get the handle put in it and once all that's said and done then we'll sharpen it i want to do, want that to be pretty much the last thing that i do is sharpen it so there we go thanks for watching i appreciate your time and uh i'll see you on the next video oh and dave you know what i learned about dave dave pities mr t mm -hmm.